In Alpha School, 11 members of their Kabaddi team participated in a tournament. Ram scored one fifth of all the points. The Ram scored one fifth of the total points. David scored two seventh of all the points. David scored two by seven of the total points. Rahim scored twenty two points. Rahim scored twenty two points. The rest eight players each scored three or fewer. Eight others. Each of them, 0, 1, 2 or 3, 3 or fewer, one of the maximum number of students who could have scored 0 points, suddenly if you gone somewhere else, one of the maximum number of students who could have scored 0 points, wonderful, 1 fifth of total, 2 seventh of total, and then 22 and then the other 8 put together, what am I going to do, I am going to say hey, all of them put together, this other 8 put together. I'm going to call it as x. All put together as x. So what do we have with this? So I have one fifth of total plus two seventh of total, two by seven of total plus twenty two plus x equal to total. Total number of points are there. One fifth is by one guy. Two seventh is one guy. Twenty two is one guy, and then there's the remaining adding up to it. I find this 1 by 5 plus 2 by 7, the LCM is 35, 7 by 35 plus 10 by 35 times total plus 22 plus x equal to total. So these two guys Ram and David together score 17 by 35 of total and then the remaining is 22 plus x equal to total. Brilliant. Now I am through. How? 17 by 35, these two guys account for. Out of a total, 17 by 35 of it, those two guys account for. Guys account for. The remaining should be 18 by 35. It's like 35 parts are there. Out of the 35 equal parts, these two have taken 17. The others should take the remaining 18. Right? So, I know my 22 plus x is 18 by 35. Beautiful idea. When we're clearly sitting inside this, the number of points, this answer can 22 plus x cannot be 14.9, cannot be 17.3, cannot be 48.11, cannot be 37.65. This is a nice integer. Oh, this side should also be a nice integer. Brilliant. That means 18 by 35 times the total should be an int integer. There's a 35 in the denominator. That has to get cancelled, otherwise I am in trouble. Or my total should be a multiple of 35, otherwise this won't be an integer. Or my total should be either 35 or 70 or 105 or 140 or something like this. Some multiple of 35. If I put total equal to 35, then 22 plus x will become 18 if total equal to 35. That doesn't work. Why does it not work? This x cannot be negative. 10. So total is not 35. If I put total equal to 70, 18 by 35 into 70 is 18 into 2, 36. 22 plus x equals 36. Maybe that is possible. 18 into 2. Next step what will be, it will be 18 into 3, 22 plus x equal to 54, 22 plus x equal to 72, these are all possibilities, nice. Now I know that this 22 plus x could be 36 and total is 70, 2 times 35, 3 times 35 will be 54, 4 times 35 will be 72 and so on. What okay. becomes the most interesting part, 22 added to this x is 36. Or our x has to be 14. How do I get 14? 36 minus 22. 22 and then x more takes us to 36. What will be this scenario? 22 plus x is 54. x is 54 minus 22, which is 32. We can find another number here and so on. Now, this x is the total number of points got by 8 different people. 
the most beautiful part in this question comes here. Eight different people together from Cortex. But these eight people are useless. They've all got, each of them has got three or lesser. I won't say they are useless. They are not scoring points. Maybe he's not the center forward. Maybe he's a defender. He's very powerful, useful. But he's not the point score. And useless is the wrong word. If all of them get three points, the maximum they can get. If all of them get zero, they'll all get zero together. If all of them get three points, the total maximum can be 8 into 3, 24. Or it cannot be 32. It cannot be the next number. None of that is possible. If all of these fellows, eight people put together, can score a maximum of only 24 points. They could not have scored 32 points or even more than 32. Of these eight people put together, should have scored exactly 14 points. Now we are through. So this eight people together scored 14 points. We want the maximum number of students who could have scored zero. So this 14, lots of people should have scored zero. That means very few of them should have scored up to 14. Get a few to get maximum. Only the maximum they can score is three. Let me say the first guy gets three, second guy gets three, third guy gets three, fourth guy gets three. If the fifth guy also gets three, it will become 15. 5 into 3 is 15. That's not possible. We have only 14. The fifth guy gets two. Put the maximum possible points for as few guys as possible. Remaining all get zero. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. Four guys get three each. Fifth guy gets two. Best case scenario to get to 14 points. In which case, the last three got zero, zero, zero. Eight people should be there. Of which we are assuming the 5 of them bring all the points. Five into 4 into 3, 12, plus 2, 14. 4 guys get 3, 1 guy gets 2, 14 points get accounted for. If you had 4 zeros, it's impossible. If 4 people had got zeros, the remaining 4 couldn't have got to 14 points. It's not possible. 5 people together can get to 14 points, not 4. So 5 people together get to 14, 3 people get 0. The maximum number of students who could have scored 0 points is 3. There are more than 3 people getting 0 points then that total can never be 14. That total is not 14. The rest of the condition won't get matched up. Absolutely beautiful question. Based on that idea that the total number of points has to be a multiple of 35. Total number of points has to be 35 into 270. If it is 35 into 270, then this all these remaining people together get 14 points. That is the only possibility. Their total cannot be 32. Their total cannot be more than 24. So use that and then come back and simplify into it. Wonderful, wonderful, delightful question.